Hello, today I will be introducing our paper titled A Method for Assessing Inference Patterns Captured by Embedding Models in Knowledge Graphs. I am Narayana Suri Krishnan, and this is in collaboration with Dr. Carlos R. Rivero, and we both do our research at Rochester Institute of Technology. To get started, let's talk about what is a knowledge graph. Well, knowledge graphs are representations of data that connects entities via edges or relationships. Knowledge graphs contain several missing edges that can be predicted, and this process of predicting the edges is called as a link prediction. Link prediction typically uses the embeddings of entities and relationships in the graph. It is desirable for embedding methods to capture a set of patterns or the logical relationships that exist in the graph at hand. Prior work focuses on the theoretical analysis of the ability of embedding models to capture inference patterns. These theoretical studies are challenging and are actually missing for several embedding models. Additionally, these results are binary where they only state whether a model can capture a pattern or not, but do not actually quantify to what degree the model is able to capture a pattern. Pattern analysis also only focuses on the ability of the model to capture positive evidence but do not focus on the ability of the model to identify negative or missing evidence. In our approach, we present a method to empirically analyze the ability of a model to capture inference patterns. First, we mine inference patterns from the given knowledge graph at hand, also called as core patterns. Second, we train an embedding model for the task of link prediction. Finally, during the evaluation phase of link prediction, we collect the top k predictions made by the new model and put them into a new graph. In this new graph, we study the positive and the negative evidence for each core pattern that we have mined from the original graph at hand. Our approach quantifies the ability of models to capture positive and negative evidence and to our knowledge is the first to study how core patterns can actually capture negative evidence. Our approach is also model agnostic, where it does not depend on the embedding method and only depends on the top K predictions made during the evaluation process of link prediction. To conclude, we find that several models can capture positive evidence, but conversely, they also fail at capturing negative evidence. We also introduced several new patterns that were previously unexplored, and we observed that models generally achieve a better performance on these new patterns. We also observe that redundancies in data help certain models perform better, and the presence of inverse triples in data impacts the number of inference patterns discovered. 